Hi Aquariuses, how are you all? Welcome to my channel. I am here to do an energy read for June 2021. This will be for Aquarius placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is general, so this will not relate to all Aquariuses. Also, energy, time, and gender is fluid, so cross watchers, you are welcome. If it resonates, like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. Hit the notification bell. Positive comments only, please. Also, if you would like to donate to the channel or book a personal with me, that information will be in the description box. Okay, so let's get started. Messages for my Aquarius, please. King of Air, All right. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy. We have the King of Fire. Hmm. Really? Already? We have the Four of Cups. Messages for my Aquarius, please. We have the Five of Earth. That's the Five of Pentacles. Mm. Okay. That's some messages. Justice. Libra energy. Some of you have had Libra in your chart or dealing with a Libra. And the Hermit. Virgo energy. Alright. Overall energy is the Three of Fire. The three of wands. So you got two kings here. Hmm. Aquarius, you could have um, been in uh, indecision about two people, or someone had you in a situation where they was indecisive about you. Because we have two people. You could have been married to this person, or married to this person. Somebody got left out in the cold here, though. Someone definitely, um, some someone definitely missed the opportunity or rejected the opportunity here. Mm. You could have been dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, but some justice is definitely coming in. I'm also getting up. Uh, I'm getting and standing up for yourself, standing up for what's fair, what's right. When I think of the hermit, I feel like you're going within to seek answers, listening to your inner wisdom and knowledge. You at a distance, whatever. Aquarius, this could be someone you were dealing with or someone you're currently dealing with. But I feel like it could be at a distance here. Someone is planning to come forward. Hmm. Someone's planning to come forward after making the wrong choice here. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Messages. My Aquarius. Okay, so what's the King of Swords? This could be you, Aquarius in this energy you're uh making more head over heart decisions you rationalizing everything i'm also hearing no emotions you showing no love uh the high priestess want to come out too this could be like a aquarius pisces energy what's the king of swords the four cups again so you could have rejected someone and you may feel rejected by someone is what I'm hearing. Like a missed opportunity. But like I say, you know, rejection is God protection here. Some of you all could be more detached than usual. Like you're not showing your feelings. You're not showing your emotions. But I'm definitely getting like a missed opportunity here. Um, who is this king of fire? So this could have been someone you was dealing with with this king of fire energy. Very ambitious, assertive. I saw the king of uh, fire. Oh, damn. Some of you all could be dealing with a Scorpio. 
I'm picking up Aries too. They can have Scorpio or Aries in their chart. This King of Fire is going through a tower moment. Mm. I feel like somebody's foundation is getting uh, dismantled here with this tower card. With this King of Fire, someone could have, um, somebody could have uh, acted out. What? Let me see. I'm reading the card, y'all. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Communicator. Don't be sensitive to criticism. I'm getting some arrogancy here, though. Somebody was extremely arrogant here. Or prideful. I'm also picking up prideful as well. Somebody's pride is being shattered here. Okay. So, what is this four of cups? What's the four of cups here? The three of pentacles. I told you. I feel like someone wants to come in and collaborate with you. But this is after a destruction. Some type of... Um, event unforeseen event i just heard the unforeseen event happen in this person life here they want to uh they want to collaborate with you i feel like they want to team up with you again but they may feel like you will reject them they could have left you out in the cold in the past here aquarius is what i'm hearing I'm also getting like uh, negative thoughts about this person. Like you might think negatively of this person. Also, you may feel like this person abandoned you in some way. Oh, the devil. Capricorn energy. You see this person as Satan's son or Satan's daughter. <laughs> you see them as someone that was very toxic. I'm hearing high risk. With the devil card, that's my seven deadly sins. Y'all know how I feel about the devil card. You could have had a soul tie with someone that was extremely toxic. I'm also getting greed and lustful with this energy as well. So you could have left this person or this person could have left you, but they're having a tower moment now. I feel like they're having some type of destruction here. Is this their karma? Is this their justice? This justice card can speak of separation, divorce, marriage, something legal here. I just heard the criminal system. Mm. What's this justice card? <laughs> wow. What's the justice card? I feel like somebody is receiving some type of karma here. The six of wands. Mm. Justice will go in your favor here. Whether this is the cross watcher or the Aquarius, I feel like this justice will go in your favor. Someone, Aquarius, if you on the right side of things, you acted out of integrity here. So you will be rewarded. You will get that recognition. I just heard that just do. You will. Some of you all could um, have went into hermit mode here. Like you kind of uh, distance yourself from people just to reflect and really just meditate, pray more. Um discovering yourself discovering your next move your plans setting your goals i feel like a lot of you all are in hermit mode right now what's the hermit what's the hermit yeah you closing our cycles why well, i just heard uh you're hiding intentionally you're not trying to be found and I feel like you know intuitively that this person, because that high priestess want to come out. You know this person is trying to weasel their way back in, but you're hiding like intentionally. You are intentionally closing out this cycle. So you definitely have a distance. This person could be at a distance from you or you have distanced yourself from this person. But this is definitely a completion here. I feel like you're uh, moving towards new chapters, better opportunities here. If you are going through a... Um, a separation i feel like the proceedings will go in your favor but y'all definitely was attached to someone that was extremely um toxic here what's the three of wands what's the three of wands yeah this was a marriage this a marriage either you was married to this person or this person is married to someone else this is definitely a higher level of commitment here aquarius it's if you're married to this person, I feel like you have acknowledged something about this person. It could be dealing with your finances as well. Give me one more on this three of wands. The 
Eight of Wands, moving forward, progression. This is also a correspondence. Someone could be reaching out. Someone may want to save their uh, relationship, their commitment, their marriage here. But this is after destruction. I feel like this person left you, like abandoned you in some type of way. But you were being protected at that time. Like I said, you're still being protected. I feel like you were, um, this is like a divine intervention is what I'm getting. Like your spirit guides, your angels, whoever you believe in. It's like they stepped in and separated you from this person. You may didn't get it at first. But I feel like you're seeing it now being that you've been in that reflective energy. Okay, so what would be the outcome for my Aquariuses for June 2021? Give me three cards for Aquariuses. Six of Pentacles, Two of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, it's time to... I feel like you're taking the blindfolds off in June. You're seeing it for what it is. Some of you all were in an unequal give and take with this person. It was not, uh, it was one sided, it wasn't reciprocated here. And I feel like you're taking these blindfolds off. You could have been in two minds about this person because you were. It's some type of obligation here. So this could be like the mother of your kids, the father of your kids. It was a toxic attachment here. And I feel like in June, you're no longer straddling that fence. Yes, this will hurt. Whatever is going on, you're going to be wounded. You're going to be disappointed about it. But I like the fact that you're going to stay persistent and you're going to move forward here. Mm, okay. You may even hear of you may even hear this person saying they want you back, or they could be reaching out saying they want to work on this. But I feel like too much damage has been done here. Too much damage has been done. Yeah. Rejection is God protect, protection. Just remember that. Okay, give me some messages for my Aquarius. Messages for my Aquarius. Ah, oh, I can't make it up. I saw that card when I said divine intervention. I feel like this was fated to happen. Your ancestors, your angels, God, like I said, whoever you believe in, I feel like somebody came in and uh, guided you away from this before the tower hit. Or this tower could have happened to force you away from this connection here. Because somebody was definitely being deceptive. And then with this devil energy, I feel like someone had some unhealthy patterns or toxic behavior that you was binding yourself to. So this was fake. This was you uh, getting redirected here. I can't make this shit up. I told you. Somebody is experiencing karma right now. And if you're on the right side of this, I feel like you're getting your just due. Also, too, I feel like you're being guided away from this person, so you won't have to share their karma. So you won't have to experience the karma that they're experiencing. Mm. Give me one more. <clears throat> I told you, you're taking the blindfolds off this month. You may have seen, I'm hearing smoke and mirrors. You may have realized this was a lie, or you may have felt like this person kept you confused. And they could have, the devil gives it gives off confusions illusions here you could have been dealing with a water sign as well or they have water in their chart but you definitely taking those rose colored glasses off okay give me some messages Threatening, embarrassed appearances. Somebody putting on a show, a good ass show. I'm hearing Rihanna take a bow. They put on a good show. And I feel like this person was, I'm, I'm not getting threatened. I'm definitely getting intimidation though. This person could have been intimidated by you. He, had, did, he or she had put you in a lot of embarrassing uh, situations as well. You could have stayed with this person to keep up appearance. Or they could have been with you because of that reason. I'm hearing trophy wife, trophy husband, or, you know, it was for show. Something was for show here. 
He's dealing with a, a classic clown here. Give me one more. Divine Feminine. <laughs> okay, I'm with it. Divine Feminine. If you are Divine Feminine Aquarius, this could be male or female. You cannot deal with clowns. They will always feel threatened by you. They will always feel lesser than you. So what they do is try to embarrass you or try to shame you in some type of way or antagonize you in some type of way to make you feel less than what you really are. And that's that divine feminine. So act like you know now. Okay, so give me some messages. Okay, let's see what else is Some of you all, it will be hard for you all to hide from this person because you share a family, you share kids with this person, but you know how to handle them accordingly, though. You definitely put some distance between you and this person. If it's not about the children, if it's not about, don't call me. <laughs> uh, we got ritual. To experience the magic of life, you must first practice it. When I think of rituals, I think of routine, I think of schedules. Also, some of you all could be doing your own rituals. I'm hearing self-love rituals, healing rituals. Like, keep going if you believe in that. Give me one more. For my Aquarius, please. Aquarius, you have, have a relaxing bath. Hmm. Spiritual bath. Get you some, get you some bath salt, some Epsom uh, salt, baking soda, herbs. I just heard herb, uh, herbal therapy as well. Adding bath salts or lighting candles can help you restore yourself. So you definitely practice it. I'm doing a lot of self-love uh, practice here. A lot of you all are putting a lot of self-care into yourself and just putting that focus on yourself. If you're a mother or a father, you're putting that energy to you and your kids at this time. Give me an animal card for Aquarius. Please. Chris, you got mouse. Okay. You overlooking some important details. So pay closer attention to what's going on. You see this person for who they truly are. You see who the rat was. You see who the snake was. And you see who was the you saw who the adversary was. I'm hearing sleeping with the enemy here. Mm. Wow. Yes, that's a thing. I just want you to know that, Aquarius. That's a thing. Okay, that's what I got for you all. If this resonated, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will talk to you guys later. You all be blessed. Bye.